It is another exciting day in MLB The Show 21. We have more flash sales today. If you guys have watched any of the videos we made on previous flash sales, we have made a ton of stuff, so we're gonna try to be doing that again today. We have our two primary accounts that are in very different places in terms of content, so it's gonna be a unique perspective on how I approach it through both accounts. For starters, we have our No Money Spent account who has already done both the Mariano Rivera and Shohei Otani collections. We are also sitting on 350K of cash stubs, which is going to help us invest today. Again, this video is going to be posted after the flash sales are over, but hopefully watching it back, you guys will be able to learn kind of what I'm thinking and how I go about doing this stuff. And if you guys aren't home during the flash sales, they did actually just release a companion app for your phone that you can try to do this on if you want to slack at work. So I just want to go over the little bit of prep that I did before these packs came out. I'm anticipating some sort of Field of Dreams pack as one of the flash packs today, so I did put orders at 5555 for all the base round cards for that. This is just to help us work towards Mookie. I also put in an order for 8500 for Tim Salmon in case they do an X headliner pack. Award series is one of the hardest ones to do right now. But here is one of the biggest tips I can give you if you guys need stubs right now. Go through your inventory and see if you have any of these old monthly awards cards. You can see I currently have a sell order for this 87 Brad Miller up for almost 74k stubs. And earlier today I sold a Tom Murphy, Mark Canna, and Nathan Eovaldi all for around 70k these are 85, 86, 87 overalls that are useless in game. The reason these cards are so expensive right now is because as it stands, you can only get to 37 out of 45 for the Mookie voucher for monthly awards with free cards. This of course will be changing when the August monthly awards program drops in the next week. You'll be able to do this entire voucher for free. And so now is the best time in my opinion to sell off some of these lower tier monthly awards cards. People are gonna be able to do this voucher without them in a week. And although I'm not 100% sure they'll actually drop in price since you can't get them anymore. It's still nice to sell an 85 overall for 70k and use that towards other things. So like I said, our two accounts we're gonna do the flash sales on today are in different places. This no money spent account is actually ahead in that it's already completed Shohei Otani, whereas my technical main account has not done Otani yet. So the goal with this account is gonna be to pick up some random milestone award signature series, whatever I can do to help me work towards Mookie. Try to snag some cards for cheap. We'll be looking at the X headliners as well if they drop that. And on the other account, our primary goal is going to be to get Shohei Otani done today. So let's hop over there and see what we're working with. So here we are on the main account. We have 205,000 cash stubs, but I just wanted to show you guys I did sell three of these monthly awards cards over here as well. Again, all for around 70k. This is a super easy way to make stubs right now, and I would definitely try to sell them before the new monthly awards program comes out. It's not that these cards won't have value anymore. It's just that really the only reason to keep them is to do that collection voucher, and you won't need them once the August monthly awards program comes out. So on this account, we're actually only missing two cards for Shohei on top of a little bit of showdown grindy. We're at 60% for a couple of divisions for TA3. We want to pick up 97 Lance Lynn. Since we already have 99 Vlad Jr., we only need one of the remaining rare cards, so that being Peralta, Mancini, or Alonzo. I'm hoping our 205k can get us across the finish line with that one. However, I am strongly considering just buying Lance Lynn right now at 46k. During the last flash sale, I actually only saw these cards dip as low as 50k for the mid-round. I realized that was a while ago and we've gotten more packs elsewhere since then, but I think 47k is actually pretty cheap for this. I put in an order for 46557. We'll see if that's a mistake or not when these packs drop, but I'm hoping I can pick up the last card I need with the 159k that I have. I've also been trying to sell this Lefty Grove this morning. It hasn't been going well and his price has gone down a lot, mostly because of the speculation that there will be a Field of Dreams pack, but even at the price he's at right now, 130k, I'm gonna try to sell him and then buy him back maybe around 90 if I can. Lefty Grove is definitely a card I want to keep on the team long term, so we're really just trying to short this card, sell him for as much as we can right now, and then try to buy him back when that pack drops. If we don't get a Field of Dreams pack today, I'm going to be in trouble. But despite the fact that this account actually hasn't done Shohei yet, we are actually a little bit further ahead for every other thing for Mookie Betts on this account. As you can see, if I really wanted to lock in everything that I had, I would actually be able to do the Milestone Collection right now, and I would only be two cards off for the Awards Collection. So that is great news. It means once we are able to acquire Shohei with the stubs we have today, hopefully it means we'll be really close to Mookie on both accounts. This account already has the random cards and stuff for Mookie, so really we're just missing Shohei, whereas the No Money Spent account is really just missing a bunch of random cards that we can pick up today, hopefully. So that's really exciting, man. We're gonna be decently close to a double Mookie bets by the end of today. So my predictions for today, I think we're gonna get an All-Star Game and Home Run Derby pack. I think we're gonna get a Field of Dreams pack. I think we're gonna get an X Headliner pack. And if they do more than 
than four. I'm not really sure what else there's gonna be. And also we're not doing a ton of investing today. We're really just trying to pick up missing pieces for Mookie for cheap, like I said. However, there will be plenty of great opportunities to invest if you wanna dump your stubs there. Specifically, just buying diamond cards at 5K is gonna be really valuable, especially with the exchanges coming down the line for Team Affinity 4. Cards like Liam Hendricks and Xander Bogarts have been great investments basically every time they've been 5K. In addition, if we get a Field of Dreams pack, you could be looking at trying to snag some of those cards for 5K, like this Lou Brock. I'm sure he'll tank down there. So really the point is that we're buying something today, trying to get some deals and uh, hopefully work towards Mookie. All right, the first pack is in half an hour, so I will see you guys there. They are not wasting any time. The first flash sale pack right off the rip is a home run derby pack for 25K. You can buy two of them. Prices for these rare round cards have already tanked around 30K. I did put in a pre-order at 100K for Pete Alonzo on the other account. We're actually gonna hop over there and make sure we get him because I really don't have anything to buy from this on my no money spent account aside from investments. And there it is, it went through. We picked up Pete Alonzo for 100K stubs. That is gonna let us get Shohei Otani on both of our accounts now. Also, since this inevitably means that the next pack is gonna be an all-star game pack, we probably messed up buying Lance Lynn at 46K, but it doesn't matter. I'm super happy to be done with this. Throughout the rest of these flash sales today, we're gonna be knocking out the rest of Team Affinity, which we somehow haven't done on this account yet. That'll let us get Acuna and then Shohei. But yeah, in terms of cards we need to buy, we are completely done. We got Lance Lynn, we got Pete Alonzo. And if you guys are still trying to do this yourselves, you can actually skip three purchasable cards and still get Shohei. So that's just something good to know. I personally skipped 99 Freddy Peralta, 98 Trey Mancini, and 97 Yoannis Cespedes. Those were the cards I didn't buy. It looks like we actually set the perfect price. These are actually climbing back up already. We snagged him at 100K, which may have been the floor. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Getting live series and Shohei and Mariano done on two different accounts so far this year. Super, super awesome, man. And obviously the next step is gonna be trying to get a double Mookie bets. And because we were able to snag Pete Alonso so cheap, we still have 61K laying around. So we may be able to buy a couple cards later on on this account. But for the most part, we're gonna be spending most of our time on the no money spent from here on out since we're basically out of stubs here. And the other account needs more cards and has more stubs to work with. So since we have so many stubs on the no money spent, 371K as of right now, I actually am gonna throw out just a few investment orders for Xander Bogarts and Liam Hendricks since like I said, the next pack is probably an all-star game one. They're already at quick sell value anyway. We dumped about 40K into these. That's all I'm really willing to spend right now because we do need to pick up some cards later on. But as I always say, if you guys can pick up a diamond card for around 5K, that is a risk-free investment. So we might as well try and invest just a little bit. The base round home run derby cards did not go down to 5K, but they may still be decent investments if people are still trying to knock out Shohei after today. I personally am gonna stay away from them for now though. And I actually just did an expected value calculation for this pack to see if it was worth it. Based on prices right now, the pack has an expected value of 26K, 26,500, somewhere around there. So I'm not gonna buy the pack that's pretty much right around what it costs. But if you have a ton of stubs laying around or you're just at work and you see these pop up, it's maybe actually not a bad idea to just buy the packs and hold the cards or the packs and sell them later on. Because the EV for this pack is 26,500 right now when prices have crashed. Could definitely be higher later on if prices rise again. Just something cute you could do and it all depends on how many times they're gonna throw Home Run Derby and All-Star Game packs at us. Super cool that they dropped this one right away though. We're gonna go grind some showdown, make sure we get Shohei on the second account before this episode is over and stay tuned for the next pack which is probably gonna be All-Star Game. All right, we're about four minutes away from the next pack and I actually did something risky that I wasn't planning on doing. So literally earlier in this episode, we picked up this Lance Lynn for 46,500 stubs. He's all the way back up to 70K. I assume his price has gone up because people got home run derby cards for cheap and now they're trying to buy the extra all-star game cards they need for Shohei right away. Although I'm almost 100% sure the next pack will be an all-star game pack. So I actually sold the Lance Lynn I already bought. Even though I could get Shohei right away, right now I'm holding all the pieces to Exodia. I decided to sell this one. I sold this Lance Lynn for right around 70K stubs after buying him for 40 and my plan is to go ahead and buy a Lance Lynn right back when the next pack drops here in a few minutes. I've placed a pre-order for him for 40,000 stubs, although I definitely could see him dropping even lower than that. We'll see what happens. But literally just on this little back and forth, we may make between 20 and 30K profit over the course of the hour. I thought about doing something similar with my 99 Vlad Jr. card, but he's selling for so much that the tax would actually be around 20K. And I'm not entirely sure where his price is gonna end up at. So that's definitely a more risky sell. So I just decided to go ahead and do it with Lance Lynn. Let's see what the next pack is. Ooh, they threw 
threw me a curveball. The next pack is a live series. This does not bode well for our Lance Lynn move unless they're teasing us and they're going to do it later on. But as always with these live series packs at 15k, this is not worth buying at all. So I'm going to stay far, far away from this pack and I hope for the sake of Lance Lynn, we end up with an all-star game pack later on because now I'm a little bit scared. It always really sucks getting these live series as one of the packs too because you literally can't do anything investment wise. The best you can do is buy some base round diamonds at 5k but they hardly ever rise at all at this point in the year. Just seems like a dead hour in the middle of the flash sale which always is kind of a bummer. So we decided to go all in with this risk. We sold our Lance Lynn for 69.9. We sold our JT Real Muto for 64k and we did end up selling our Vlad Jr. for 203,000. We have pre-orders for JT and Lynn at 40k and Vlad Jr. at 150k. I truly don't see a scenario where they would drop a home run derby pack and not an all-star game pack so I'm holding out hope. I really think they dropped that live series in there to throw people off and to split them up to make it less obvious but if somehow we don't get an all-star game pack today I am going to be down a lot of stubs. But as it stands if my pre-orders go through with the prices that I sold them at I will profit between 60 and 70k so I think that's worth the risk. And the third pack of the day is a Field of Dreams pack. I did actually anticipate this earlier. This is why I wanted to sell Lefty Grove. We have pre-orders in on both accounts for all of the base round guys at 5555 so hopefully those go through for us. We're gonna hop over to the No Money Spent account where we got a little bit more stubs to play with and try to pick up some of these cards. So here's what we did. This account actually never had a Lefty Grove in the first place so we picked him up for 100k. We might have overpaid a little bit but I just wanted to snag him at 100k while I could. He's been selling consistently around 140 plus I want to use him so I think that was a good buy and also all of our pre-orders for the base round guys went through except for Chris Bryant who's holding just a slightly higher price I think that actually makes a lot of sense because Chris Bryant is a fan favorite the card is really good and as I mentioned earlier the award series is one of the harder ones to do for Mookie right now if I had to pick one card to invest in from the Field of Dreams pack it would actually be Chris Bryant so I may go in and buy a couple more so that's exactly what we did we picked up five extras for 6k each so we dumped about 30k into Chris Bryant investments which leaves us with a little over 200k left for the rest of the packs. Really hoping I see an X headliner just to diversify my collection a little bit more on this account but overall super happy that we got a Field of Dreams pack because I was able to get a ton of cheap diamonds and work towards Mookie Betts. And on an interesting note prices for the 2021 All-Star Game cards have actually dipped even though the pack didn't come out so that gives me a little bit of hope that even if they don't drop that pack today I won't lose too many stubs. Maybe that's just copium we'll see what happens. Also from a competitive standpoint 99 Mike Piazza for 100k is an insane steal. If I wasn't completely obsessed with Kyle Schwarber as my catcher then I would be picking this card up ASAP. Also they've been giving us a ton of free signature series cards lately for the Mookie collection. But this is honestly just an insane price. I wouldn't be surprised if this card was 150k in like a week. Now they never actually said how many flash sale packs we're gonna get today. I'm hoping for two more those being the all-star game pack and the X headliner pack. However if they only do one then we need to make sure we're dumping most of our cash stubs into cards by the end of the day so we may come back to these field of dream base round cards and just invest some more depending on if we have stubs left over to work with but we'll figure that out in 49 minutes the fourth pack is here it is a guaranteed x headliners another one i was expecting the price point is actually pretty low as well 20k which is gonna bode well for the most recent headliners immediately andrew miller comes to mind who's been selling for around 100k this is gonna be investments galore if you guys have stubs to spend this is the right place to do it unfortunately on our main account we're still holding out for that all-star game pack but we're gonna hop over to the no money spent and probably spend every stub we have hey and our buy order for tim salmon went through at 8500 already that probably means we overpaid but i'll take it cards we're targeting from these x headliners are categories for mookie bets that have been kind of expensive recently so obviously earlier we talked about the award series so that is why we wanted to have a pre-order for tim salmon we're also going to be looking at picking up dwight evans depending on where his price bottoms out at. Another category that's been pretty expensive recently for Mookie Betts is future stars, so we may look at Logan Gilbert and Andrew Vaughn as well as Austin Martin. Max Meyer as well, forgot about him. There's actually four future stars cards in here, which is great. And then surprisingly, one of the harder categories to do as well has been postseason. That collection has been decently expensive for what it is. The cards like Bob Gibson, Mickey Mantle, and even these lower tier cards like Wainwright and Pudge could give us some good opportunities to knock some collections out. I feel like a kid in a can Candy store we're gonna go spend 200k on random cards and it's gonna be amazing all these future stars cards so far are still hovering around 40k so people are on the same boat that I'm on we're aware that these cards are valuable
valuable. So I probably don't have enough stubs to buy too many of these right now. So that was the mother of all shopping sprees. We bought basically every X headliner that was in a major category and was decently cheap. So we started off with Tim Salmon at 8,500. Then we got a Dwight Evans at 20K. He's already back up to 30. Can't see his name there because of my cam, but Dan, please act for 10K. AJ Burnett for 10K. Those have been staples throughout every flash sale this year. Then we looked at the postseason guys, Mickey Mantle, Bob Gibson, and Pudge Rodriguez all around 15K. Seems a bit expensive since those cards are outdated, but like I said, the postseason collection is actually decently expensive for Mookie. Then we got some second half heroes, Craig Biggio for 6K, Ken Griffey Jr. for around 14, Greg Maddox for 6,500. We got Anthony Rizzo's signature series for 15K, Brian Roberts for 20K, another classic card from Flash Sales in the past, Ron Guidry, 7,500, Cliff Floyd, 10K, Joe Morgan and Eddie Matthews, 5,500, and all-star Pedro Martinez for 6K. So we bought almost every card we didn't have from these X headliners. The one we missed out on is the Future Stars. They did tank in price to 40K, but 40K a card was just not in my budget for today. So we'll have to find some way to scrounge up the stuff for some future stars cards when we get there for Mookie. But on the no money spent account, we are actually making some insane progress for Mookie bets. We have more than enough prime cards. We are one away from the signature series. We are two away from the awards and surprisingly only seven away from milestone. And remember, you can skip one of these categories. So Mookie bets is closer than he appears on the no money spent account. I am super stoked about it. We'll probably end up investing our last 24K, but super pleased with how this went. Final pack of the day is is an all-star game pack. I knew they weren't gonna do me dirty like that. I am so stoked about this, man. Remember, we have a pre-order for Vlad Jr. at 150K and each of the mid-round guys at 40K. If these go through, I'm gonna be the happiest man alive. Buy order for Lance Lynn, complete at 40K. We flipped that man twice today. JT Real Muto goes through at 40K. We sold him for 64K earlier today. And I had to up my Vlad Jr. price just a little bit to 163K, but even then, and just on shorting that card, we made around 20K. Based on just the shorts we made with our three all-star game cards, we probably profited over 50K. I could not be happier with how this went today. We somehow even escaped with 135K extra stubs on our main account. And for the finale of the video, we are going to unlock our second Shohei Otani. There he is, man. Two different accounts with Shohei. I am so stoked. This day honestly could not have gone better. We basically perfectly predicted every single pack. We got a bunch of cards we didn't have before. We made a ton of stubs, shorting cards. Man, what a day. And we ended it all with our second show. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Stay tuned for some investment advice regarding Team Affinity 4. I have a video for that in the works. Take care. I'll see you all next time.